Hey, it's Joel. Uh, I can explain to you why my hair looks like this and why I'm recording this at nearly one o'clock in the morning. Let's just get right to it. <laughs> right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Yeah, it's nearly one o'clock in the morning. I'm recording this because I'm, I've been playing Beat Saber. So uh, at, at night, I'll play some Beat Saber on the Oculus and just, you know, get some activity, get a workout in. But the problem is when I do it late at night, I'm not sleepy anymore. And there was something really cool that I saw that I wanted to talk about. For that, we're going to have to move over to the computer. Hello, right here. This is Fusion 360, and thanks to Desktop Makes, Vlad over there showed us something that was really cool. It was this updated Fusion 360 feature called Emboss, and it allows you to put text on a curved surface. It's not fully fleshed out, and I'm sure there's bugs, but it's a step in the right direction, and I want to show you. So, uh, well, here, here, have a look. I made something earlier. I'll show you that thing once I talk about it. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna create a sketch and I'm gonna hit C for a center circle. Just bring it out, let's say 50 millimeters because why not? Hit enter, click that circle, hit E for extrude and type in 20 for 20 millimeters. And I hit enter, just like that. So there's my curved surface and that looks, that looks swell. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to construct and a tangent plane. So the face is right here. I'm just gonna do that. And look at that. I've got myself a, uh, a uh, what's it called? <laughs> a, a sketch. I've got myself a sketch tangential to the curved surface. And I uh, don't need to angle anything, reference plane. No, just hit okay. And then I'm gonna click there. I'm gonna hit my right mouse button. And I'm gonna say, create a sketch. And this is where it gets cool. So, uh, create text. I'm just gonna book right there. And up here, I'm gonna say, 3D printing nerd. Easy. That, you know, I can rotate it a little bit right there. I'm just gonna leave it uh, just like that. And I'm gonna position it right here, just like that. I know there's, Obviously things that you can do to make it equidistant between the top and the bottom, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna do that. So I'm just I'm just not gonna do that. And it's not needed. Font is Arial. So I've done this and I've tried a couple different fonts that wasn't able to resolve them. Just gonna stick with Arial for now. I'm gonna hit bold because why not? And then I'm gonna hit okay. Now the last step that you need to do, I'm gonna hit my right mouse button here and I'm gonna say explode text and now now that doesn't actually mean fiery explosion what that means is it translates the text into sketches that you can now use it's that simple here we go create oh i'm sorry i'm sorry oh finish sketch now create and emboss so the sketch profiles that's all that's all these. That's all these right here. So three, hold shift, D, P, R, E, N, T, E, N, R, R, D. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Faces. I'm going to select it. It's this one. It's this. It's the outside of the cylinder. Bam. I'm going to click it. Look. 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 Look at that. <laughs> so I can emboss make it stick out or i can deboss and make it go towards the inside like it's cutting out a little hole so this one i'm just gonna uh, i'm gonna emboss i'm just gonna bring it out 0 0.2 0 0.2 millimeters i'm gonna hit okay look at that that is amazing that is fantastic and, and I'm, i know you can do this already uh, I think uh, someone was like, cool, I've been doing this in SolidWorks for the last seven decades. And I, I mean, I'm not going to argue with that, but a lot of people use Fusion 360 and being able to do this in Fusion 360 is exciting. With that in mind, I made something. How's that? How is that? That is a 3D printing nerd ring. I mean, obviously you could put whatever Elvish you want on the ring. There are markings. It's some form of Elvish. 
and just as long as you throw it into the mount, you're you're fine. But uh, this one, I, I measured my middle finger here with these calipers. In fact, let's go over it, shall we? So I made myself a center circle that was 20.1 millimeters in diameter. I then did an offset of two millimeters, finish that sketch, and then I extruded it five millimeters, just like that. And then I did the really cool thing where you do the emboss, that was awesome. And I did the deboss because it's inset a little bit. I did 0 0.1 millimeters on that. And then I added some fillets or fillet of fishes or whatever you wanna call it on the edges here to kind of round it out. And I made myself a little ring before I started playing Beat Saber, I sent it to my Prusa SL1. I think it's done. I'm gonna go get it. A few moments later. I went and got it. It was down in the garage. So here's, uh, here it is. Look at this, this little tiny, tiny little ring. Here, I'll tell you what. I've got a, um, a Xiaomi Mi 10 Lite and it's got a macro lens on it. So let's see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can't Okay, there we go. Look at that 3D printing nerd. <laughs> it's so tiny. I guess I could have made the letters a little bit bigger. So here's what I want to do first. In order to see if it fits, it's cured. It's fully cured. Now let's see if it uh, if it fits on the finger. So I'm just gonna trim off these tiny little supports. These were auto-generated by Prusa Slicer. No! <laughs> it's a pinky ring, there we go. Okay, I wonder if there's a way that we could um, cause the text to show up just a little bit. Maybe like um, a pen? 12 seconds later. I have an idea. I've got this incredibly beautiful pencil. And what I'm gonna do is kind of drag it along the letters, which should make the whole thing more visible. <laughs> oh, much better. You can see the letters clear as day. This is fantastic. Well, it looks like I've got myself what was a middle finger ring, but it's now a pinky ring. Uh, it's for display purposes only, and I just got kind of excited because uh, I had a bunch of energy and I really wanted to show you this. So if you use Fusion 360 and you want to make rings or curved surfaces or something that allows that that text or the sketches to emboss or deboss, it's now possible. And I love it. Also, uh, obviously, let's, uh, there we go. That's Vlad. That's Vlad right there. So the new emboss tool in Fusion 360, this is where I found out about it. Please go visit Vlad, go visit Desktop Makes. His channel is wonderful. The dude is wicked smart. And I mean, I mean, just look at that smile. Look at that smile. Also, uh, after watching this uh, video, this video from uh, uh, Etienne K popped up and they used the emboss function to build a ring, a heart ring, and then they did a little display for it as well. But I'll put a link to both of these videos down in the description. I'd love for you to visit both and just leave them a comment. Be like, yo, what's up? I don't know, something like that. Hey, I'm just enjoying some Beat Saber outside because who doesn't do that? But what I want to tell you is that this video was recorded earlier before Angus put out his wonderful video. And I wanted to make sure that you were aware of what Angus did for embossing in Fusion 360. I want you to give it a watch. That link is down in the description. Love you, Angus. I gotta get back to Beat Saber. But this was interesting. I had a lot of fun talking about this because I've had this problem in the past where I wanted to put the text on a curved surface and I couldn't, and I didn't know SolidWorks. I know Fusion 360, so now that's possible. And I'm really curious to see if that was a problem you ran into. And if so, is this a solution that's great for you? And what are you going to make with it? Tell me all about it down in the comments. And if you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Hit that subscribe button if you get a chance. And from a safe distance, as always, high five. I should go give this to Samwise and Frodo. And Ian McKellen's going to light off wizard fireworks. And then we're going to take a trip and eat some never-ending bread and... 
It's going to be good times.